our next guest is an artist who had to forgo her passion for painting to raise a family on her own. Let's hear more about how she conquered the odds and was finally able to pursue her craft as chronicled in her compelling body of work. My name is Pamela Gotanko, but you can call me Pam. And this is my first show in the Philippines. The series of um, Mariang Pinay came about because I wanted to show my work in the Philippines. I would say that my work reflects the Filipino humor and hospitality. Um, I started painting in 2010. Prior to that, I was working corporate because I was a young single mother that I had to prioritize. But painting is my passion. Art is my passion. Ever since I was young, I used to draw um, Kero Kero P or Little King Star, Doraemon, Vortex 5. You know, that was the start of my love affair with manga, with the Japanese manga. That's why my first series is the Geisha. A Bachelor of Arts and Communications graduate from Miriam College, Pamela promotes alternative communication through relevant artistic media. She found painting as the most compelling medium to express her ideas. I would say it's a daily activity, you know? It's, it's, it's an everyday life that in, inspires me. It's a reflection of my life, sometimes of my thoughts. I like to um, put in canvas my random thoughts, whether it's momentous or small. I would say my life is already colorful, that it's substantial enough you know, to create an art. She describes her style as figurative, fun, feminine, and arbitrary, oftentimes bordering socio-political arguments, but always with a touch of humor that's distinctly Filipino. I like uh, the figure of women and the manner of dressing. To me, I make figurative women painting because it's so expressive. Sometimes I would put the man, but always with the woman. I think it's, it's just an expression of my femininity. I've always been feminine. I've always been a mother. I've always been girly. You know, and it's coming out in my, in my painting. I use acrylic and canvas. I would say uh, it's my favorite medium because it's good to me. Pam recalls her first painting, and looking at it now, one can see the beginnings of a certain style, a unique aesthetic, something that is now in full bloom in her latest work. That was really special. The first one was a mother and child artwork, but um, it was too colorful for the Swiss market. It was special to me because it's a reflection of, uh, again, of my life with my children. Now based in Zurich, Pamela's work has been well received in Switzerland and other parts internationally. Her work has been curated several times by prominent curators from acclaimed museums and galleries. And for her first solo show in her motherland, Pamela hopes that her own kababayans would appreciate her style. It's um, family oriented. A lot of people in different uh, age can relate to the color, to the design, to the style, and even to the message. You know, and I also believe that um, the color has an effect on our um, emotion. And most Filipinos are like that. You know, we like colors. We are warm people. We are happy people. Pamela encourages other working women out there to find time to pursue their real passion. We have priorities in life. We will always come across good things, bad things, and we prioritize. But at the end of the day, we have something that we really wanted to do. Whether painting, baking, you know. It's okay to put it aside, prioritize what you need, but always go back to it. You know, the fulfillment is different. Someday the children will grow up, you know. You will have time for yourself, you will have time for your passion. Yeah, just hide it, but don't throw it. You know, take it out on the right time and do it. Just do it. <laughs> Modern Living TV salutes the artist Pamela Gotanko Hop for her amazing talent and her steadfast conviction to become a full-fledged painter. Pamela, you are a great inspiration.